So I got this AOC E2343F LED monitor from a friend. Um, he said it just quit working and then there was a pop and a smell that came from it. Um, let's take it apart and see what's inside. I'm sure we can find out what uh, what popped and made the stink. So first thing I need to do take these screws out from the bottom. These four are different threads, so just be aware of that. All right, let's get this base off. I mean, this white part and this black strip, and then kind of prying down with your thumb on the edge of the white part gets it to pop loose. And this back one here. Now, see it's slid back here. Should be able to get this back part to pop off. Okay, there we go. Um, actually broke the tabs off there doing that but I'm not too concerned so here's what it looks like down inside there I'm going to unplug this looks like there's just a push tab to get my thumb on there squeeze it yeah. So. Yeah, okay it's unplugged and then there's just ground wire. Um, it's got a push tab right there. Push on it, pull. There's this plug. Oh. Another ground wire right here. Push tab. And unplug. All right, now I can get better access to this. Push tab. This one's a little tight. There we go. And then I got this ribbon cable here. Looks like you just get just get a fingernail underneath this lift. Just lifts up and unplug it. All right. There's everything, which isn't much. There's one of the tabs that I broke off, but who cares? We need to get this middle cover off. Let's see what blew up. I assume a capacitor. Here, let's go ahead and take this board all the way off and see if there's anything underneath. Should be fairly loose. So just get it started coming off. And then screw it the rest of the way. Mixing them up, they're the same exact standoff. Now 
Okay. Okay. So it actually was a capacitor. It's this one right here. It's hard to see, but in the back, it kind of pooped out its guts there. And it's too hard to see with the camera, but it's tilted this way. But if if you can see underneath it, you can see the bottom is popped out. And right there, it pooped its guts out on the side of it. So this capacitor is a 180 microfarad, 16 volt. Alright, so there you can kind of see it a little better that it popped the bottom out. And it is shorted across the positive and negative on this capacitor. Alright, so I I got the capacitor off by just bending it over one way and popping the the lead out and then bending it over the other way and then popping the lead out that way and I got my new parts got them from Mauser uh, it's my 180 microfarad 16 volt capacitor and uh, the the line or the arrow side here is the negative. You can also tell it's a negative because it's the short lead. And then that'll go on the side that has the solid. Uh, <clears throat> the solid. The negative goes to the solid uh, half of that circle. I'm just going to um, pull the leads through, get them hot, pull them through, just grab onto them, and pull them out. There we go. There's one lead. There's another one. Alright, time to suck the solder out. Perfect. Alright, I got some rubbing alcohol here and a Q-tip. I'm going to go ahead and clean off the, the rosin flux there. Because when this stuff gets hot, it activates it and then it turns into an acid. It's mainly used to clean off the surface during uh, the soldering process so that the solder will flow uh, onto whatever it is that it's trying to you're trying to solder to alright so the short lead of the capacitor and the side with the line goes on the solid half of the circle there and then just I'm not going to push it down all the way because the spacing of the leads isn't exactly the same as the as a whole spacing so push it down like that and I'm just going to spread the leads out to keep it from falling down any further and go ahead and solder it in
Alright, now you want to cut off the extra length of the leads. Pretty much just right at the top of the cone of the solder joint there. Looks good. Now you want to clean your uh, rosin flux off again. Okay. All clean. Time to put back in. Okay. It's all back together. It's a moment of truth now. Look at that. Let's see if it... Okay. There it is. Working like a champ. Beautiful. Well, there you go. That's how you fix this one. Alright, it's fixed. And... I must say, this is the first time I have ever seen an electrolytic capacitor shorted out. Uh, typically, you just see them uh, pop open and just lose their capacitance. But uh, this is the first time I've ever seen one shorted out, so it makes me a little skeptical about what caused it to fail. I don't know if maybe he plugged a higher voltage external power source into it unknowingly and cause that capacitor to fail. But in either case it could have been manufacturer or just poor quality. Um, but it's uh, it's working now and I hope uh, I hope if you see the same thing just let me know and let me know if it just failed on its own um, or if you plugged it into a higher voltage external power source. Um, and I also don't know if the external power source is what caused it either because uh, it didn't give me the external power source. I, I had one here. Um, I, don't, I don't know where his is, so we'll see. Hope you enjoyed. Like it if you like it. Subscribe.